Welcome back, second graders. Here we are again, and um, what should have happened is you came to school and got some clay from Mrs. Samala. You went and returned it. Um, you, you built your, play po your clay pocket, excuse me, and then um, let it dry out or brought it back to me wet, whichever one worked, and then from there, um, I fired it in the kiln, and now it's time for decoration. So uh, what I would like you to do if you get your, so this is your beautiful white clay back and it's time to decorate. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add some color using either watercolor or you can use food coloring if you have food coloring at your house or uh, you could use any kind of like temper paint or acrylic paint, any of those paints will work. Um, I would make them watery like watercolor um, if it was temper paint or acrylic paint. Um, if it's food coloring then you don't want to make it too watery and if it's watercolor you can just paint right on here. So what we're going to do right now is create any kind of pattern or design that you're kind of feeling or want. So I'm going to come down over here and just go like this and create some lines and I'm just drawing with my pencil or excuse me with my paintbrush like a pencil right now getting in kind of any interesting design and then I can also layer colors too, which can make it look even more interesting. So I have my green down and it dries immediately because the clay is very porous and it absorbs that water. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get some yellow in these areas. And then I'm going to keep on going with that. Once that soaks in and dries very, very quickly, then I'm gonna come through here and this is what I'm talking about layering. I'm gonna put another color over the top of that yellow because I love how that makes that orange glow. So today when you're doing watercolor, what you can do is experiment with color mixing, which we can't do with glazes, and that's an exciting kind of happy thing that happens when we use watercolor or different kinds of paints that we can do that wonderful color mixing or putting colors on top of each other to create new colors. Um, you want to wait till it dries in between, and when you are doing the color layering or mixing, what I recommend is you using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel or in the paint tray. So here's a paint tray, um, which is just like a color wheel, it's just that the color wheel has been flattened out into one line. So go ahead and mix these two colors together, or these two colors, or these two colors. You can even mix purple all the way over here with red. I wouldn't recommend skipping colors and mixing these colors together or these colors together. I think sometimes it can look interesting and sometimes things can go wrong. So it's up for you to decide. Remember, it's a 3D sculpture, so don't forget about your edges. It's really nice to be able to do this and finish off your edges. If you need to paint a little bit on the back too, that's fine. The back isn't being seen anyways, but when, you, when it's hanging on a wall, you, and you come in on the side, you can see that edge. So I always recommend you know, putting a fun pop of color on the sides um, on here. And like I said, you can draw with a pencil actually if you wanted to, or you can draw with a brush to begin with. I like either one. The pencil lines show through a little bit, but that's okay, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, and then when you're done with it, because it's a wall hanging, it will stay this way um, and Hopefully the color, nothing will happen to the color. The only thing that could happen is if someone gets it wet or if you rub on it a lot, then it could come off. Um, or you can buy like a clear fixative and put that on there. It's a spray fix or you can even get some kind of like brush on ones. Otherwise, it's just fine the way it is and I usually just leave mine this way. So um, go ahead and enjoy that friends and do a great job color or painting and I would love to see what they look like when they're done. There's so many amazing possibilities. I really stopped myself here. Mrs. Samuel was trying to go, go, go and I thought, oh, I don't want to take anyone's great idea. So think about it, have some fun and paint away. Thanks for watching friends. Bye.